Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. In today's video, we're talking about the Hey Bud Australian Hemp Clay Mask. I did receive this in PR from Hey Bud Skincare. They sent this over to me for consideration for review. And today I am going to do a first impression of this mask. And I think if I do like this mask after my first impression thoughts of today, I'm going to continue to use it for maybe about a month. And then I will do a follow-up on it and I'll let you know if my opinions changed, whether I thought it was good for my skin or um, not good for my skin, all that jazz. So this is a Australian brand. They are based down in Victoria. This product though is made in the PRC. This mask is pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. This is a $59.99 mask, so that's Australian dollars, and it is for 120 gram pot. You can also buy a two pack for $89.99. You can buy a mask with a brush for $69.99. Just to run over a few of the ingredients, so the main ingredients in this mask are hemp, um, kaolin clay, it's vegan, it has goji berries in it, avocado oil, and it's also cruelty free. So this says it's our, our Australian hemp infused clay mask contains essential vitamins and minerals. It helps to firm, rejuvenate and tighten your skin while leaving it supple, plump and luscious. So other ingredients that this mask includes are things like matcha green tea. Um, we also have vitamin E in here, hyaluronic acid, L-ascorbic acid. So the ingredients from what I can see aren't too bad. I will say though if you have any kind of sensitivities to bentonite clay or kaolin clay, any kind of clay mask products or any kind of clay products, I would probably steer clear of this because it does have both bentonite and kaolin clay in it and I know there are some people that have sensitivities to those. This has cannabis sativa oil in it which is basically hemp seed oil from my understanding hemp seed oil has absolutely no like uh what's the word like hallucinogenic properties or anything like that you're not going to get high from this product basically mind you though that seems to be something that this brand kind of plays on even though it doesn't from my understanding give you any hallucinogenic effects because it doesn't have any THC in it. So the instructions on this says apply evenly to clean dry skin, let the natural high soak for 10 minutes, gently remove mask with a warm wet towel and pat to dry. It does say for oily skin use two to three times per week. So I have oily skin so I may if I do like this, I'm going to aim for using it two to three times a week and then I'll do a follow-up review for you guys. And then for dry or sensitive skin, it says use one to two times a week. It also claims to brighten skin, tighten pores and reduce acne. Um, it claims that it is Australia's number one hemp clay mask. It's probably the only one. I will say um, the reason why I was pretty keen to try this product out is because my skin I've realized over the last couple of months responds really really well to hemp seed oil. I used hemp seed oil basically every single night on my skin as like my moisturizer and my skin responds really really well to it. Um, I find that it doesn't make my skin overly oily. I wake up in the morning having really nice skin like it feels really smooth. It looks looks really nice and healthy after using the hemp seed oil so that's why i was kind of interested to try this product because it is the second ingredient in this product i do find sometimes that some clay masks will dry my skin out too much and i get that really tight cracky uncomfortable feeling after taking it off because i feel like it dries my skin out too much so i'm hoping that because this product has the hemp seed oil in it that it won't have as much of a really tight, cracky, uncomfortable, almost like I get that almost um, tight, sunburnt skin feeling on my skin from some clay mask. So I hope that because this has the oil in it, that it won't have that effect on my skin. So it does come in this little plastic jar. It does have a little stopper on it. And then inside it is this green color. It has a scent, it's not overly offensive. It just smells like skincare, which 
I like, I appreciate. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. I have a little like plastic spatula brush here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. First, I'm going to do some close-ups of my skin. I will say I don't have the worst skin in the world. I do get quite oily. I do have breakouts from time to time. Um, and I do get quite red um, in this area here because I am very pale. So any kind of redness on my skin is really emphasized when I do have redness. Um, but like I said, I have little spots here and there nothing too aggressive like I do get some kind of under the skin blemishes every now and then particularly when it's like that kind of the month this area here breaks out quite a lot on my cheeks I probably would say I do have slightly enlarged pores um, other than that I don't know I'm happy with how my skin is what state my skin is in um, I don't have anything that's overly drying and I don't have anything that's overly like aggressive acne wise I'm kind of like a happy middle between the two I wouldn't say normal skin because my skin does get really oily throughout the day but in terms of products that I use I can kind of get away with using a vast a wide range of products like I can use like I said I like using oils on my skin and I can also use lighter products on my skin as well and it seems to behave quite well to um, most products I can get sensitivities sometimes um, like things like retinols and really strong acids can upset my skin sometimes and I can get quite red from that but other than that I think my skin's pretty good so I'm going to zoom in and show you guys close-ups and then we'll see some close-ups afterwards as well I guess oh it's quite thick I don't think I'm gonna need that much So that's the mask applied, now I'm going to wait for 10 minutes and then I will take this off and I'll be back to let you know how my skin feels after one application of this face mask. So 10 minutes have passed, I've washed off the face mask and this is what my skin looks like after washing it off after one use. I just really want to be clear that this is after one use of this face mask. My skin feels really quite soft and I will say that this face mask doesn't get that really really tight cracky feeling when it's drying down when it reached the 10 minute mark I still had a few spots that were um, still in the process of completely drying so I think I put probably a little bit too much on like I don't think it's shrunk my pores <laughs> I, I guess they're a little bit um, not as obvious but I I don't think it has shrunk them but my skin feels really soft like instead of feeling really dry and tight it actually kind of feels like it's been nourished a little bit so I feel like it definitely isn't like that typical really like um, clay face mask uh, and I think having that oil in there helps it give that nice like soft feeling afterwards and not leaving my skin feeling really dry some face masks and you guys probably have experienced this as well some clay face masks after I've taken them off I've like just been dying to put some moisturizer on top because my skin has felt so dry and like cracky and really tight like that really dehydrated almost sunburnt skin feeling like like where your skin feels really dry and and tight and wrinkly this doesn't feel like that my skin like I feel like I could go straight in with some makeup after this like it feels like I have put my skincare on I'm obviously going to finish putting the rest of my skincare steps on like my moisturizer and my sunscreen but it feels like I've already done that I don't think it has improved the overall appearance of my skin at all like my skin looks a little bit brighter um i can't really comment on if it looks clearer because my skin never um 
completely clears up after using a face mask. I think the overall difference is the feeling of my skin. Like my skin can feel quite textury sometimes, but after one use it feels quite soft and smooth. So I think that's probably the biggest noticeable difference that I can feel at the moment. I think I do like this mask enough to follow through with using it for a month. So I think I might continue so I'm going to continue using this for, what is it, two to three times. So I'll probably just go for two times a week for about a month. And then I will come back. I'll let you know how much I've got left in the pot, whether I think it's worth the, what is it, like $60 for a pot. And whether I think my skin has improved after using it for a month. So far, I think it's a nice clay face mask. If you want a clay face mask that isn't overly drying, it isn't going to leave your skin feeling really stripped. Um, I think that you might enjoy this one. Obviously skincare is super duper subjective. Everyone has their own opinions. Everyone has different skin types. Everyone has different skin sensitivities. So if you have any particular concerns about this face mask or its ingredients, um, I will leave a link down below to it, to the Hey Buddy skincare website. And you can check on the website all the ingredients and if you know what particular ingredients you have sensitivities to, please go and check that out first before even considering ordering this face mask. Um, but for the time being, I think it has left my skin feeling really nice and soft and I hope that that continues. I don't know. So far so good on this face mask. I don't want to give it too many overly positive reviews because I've only used it once. <laughs> Um, and hey buddy did send this to me so just to reiterate again this is my first use and I got sent this product so I just want to make that really really clear because like I said skincare is really really subjective and I don't want to be like seeing the praises of this face mask after only using it once but the feeling after one use is nice and I will follow up in a month Oh, I, I'm going to do, I'll do some close-ups of my skin after taking the mask off as well. So that's my first impression thoughts on the Hey Bud the Hey Bud Skincare Australian Hemp Clay Mask. Let me know down in the comments box if you have tried this mask and what your thoughts on the mask are um, after your experience of using it. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy skincare reviews. And if you're new around here, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye, everyone. Ciao. Ciao.